In this question, we have to show that lepton number is conserved in the given dK. As you can see, I wrote down the equation for the dK, and we will compare the total lepton number on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side of the equation. Let's start with the left-hand side. Here we have a down quark, which can be found in the first table from subtopic 7.3, where we can see that the down quark, well, is a quark and not a lepton. This means that the lepton number of the down quark is zero, so on the left-hand side of the equation, the total lepton number is zero. Let's now examine the right-hand side. Here we have an up quark, and since it is a quark, its lepton number is zero. Then we have an electron, which we can find in the second table from subtopic 7.3, where we see that the electron is a lepton, and we also see that leptons have a lepton number of 1. So the lepton number of the electron is 1. Finally, we have an electron antineutrino. In our table, we do not have an electron antineutrino, however, we have an electron neutrino. This means that the electron antineutrino is an antilepton. We also see in this table that antileptons have a lepton number of negative 1. This means that the lepton number of the electron antineutrino is negative 1. Adding up the values on the right-hand side, we get 0, which means that the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equation are equal. Hence, we can conclude that lepton number is conserved. In order to earn the mark on this question, please show that the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equation are equal, including a calculation for the right-hand side, and then state that this means that lepton number is conserved. Please remember to include the zero for the up quark on the right-hand side. Omitting this zero is a typical mistake and would cause you to lose the mark.